So, Richie, how, how do you reflect on a crazy 2020? Yeah, it's been crazy throughout. I think from yeah, from the very from the very beginning, it was pretty mental. So, um, no, I'm I'm very um, proud of the way it went in a certain sense. I think obviously the Challenge Cup run was fantastic, and obviously to the way I, I found a role in the team, I was very proud of. And um, no, I think as a team, we've been. We've been pretty consistent throughout. It's just obviously right at the very end we would, we just come up a little bit short, but I think that'll put us in good stead for uh, the future. When you think back to this time last year, uh, could you believe that the year you you were going to go on? No, not really. I think it's one of those. It's been it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I think rugby league is a roller coaster more, more or less all the time anyway. But no, that, that definitely was um, it definitely was a roller coaster season to say the least. And the close season last year, pre season for you. There was that first silly element that, that Richard Ago was asking you to play and adapting to, to play a bit of dummy half as well. Was it a, a busy pre-season for you? Um, you know what, it was. It, it ended up actually, it, it was brilliant to be fair, because I think Rich was brilliant with me in the sense of, he was honest and straight down the line and said, this is kind of where, this is where we're at with it all and I'm going to try in a few different roles and thinking, it probably gave me a new lease of life because it gave me a, a freshness and a new challenge and... Um, yeah, one I, one I was excited for and I enjoyed and yeah, somehow made a success out of it. And the, the camp in Spain, how, how important was that, particularly with the, the new guys coming in and a pivotal position with, with Luke Gale coming in for the guys to all really spend quality time together? Yeah, I think that, that, was, that was... We hadn't been away for, for, for like the three years I'd been here, really, and I think that was, that was a big, big um, positive. And I think just the... Getting out of their own room, all they've been in the same place, doing the same thing all the time, and going away and just being totally away from everybody just does gets to spend some time with each other, get to know how the new boys that come in, but get to know even the lads that were here. Because in the three years I was here, we didn't really sit down and open up to one another as much as we did in, the, in that pre-season. So I think that that really was a focus for us throughout the year. I think the way we um, brought down some barriers and the way that we opened up to one another in that pre-season definitely put us in. A good stead for the year. Well, it was a disappointing start against Hull FC, but the way that you could see those bombs building, the way everyone responded to that with the the great run of form and the style of rugby we were playing. Yeah, I think, like you say, I I, I always believed that we were gonna we were gonna have a, a, success, a successful year. I think you could see the talent we had in our in our ranks. We were obviously a very talented team, and that kind of Hull FC game was a bit of a punch in the face. It was kind of hang on a minute, we've had a really good pre season and. Yeah, you just you just don't quite turn up and you can get your pants pulled down in a nice possible way. So um no, we were um we were grouped pretty quickly after that and obviously realised that we had a little bit more extra work to do than what we had what we had done and I thought we showed that the following weeks after that, before lockdown, we we really started to hit our straps. And then lockdown comes along, uh, how did you find it? Obviously two young boys at home, uh <laughs> some challenges there. I think, like everybody that stuck at home with two young kids, it's um, yeah, it was it was a challenge. I was mid renovation as well, which was it actually gave me a lot of time to be at home to do them, which wasn't too bad. But um, no, I um, it wasn't it wasn't the easiest. I feel sorry for my wife and the, <laughs> to be fair, she had she got the brunt of most of it. But no, when you're knocking off drywall and plastic, you can get a fair bit of aggression out. And then coming back into it, I mean, you've been in the in the. Treadmill of professional rugby league for for a long time now. Uh, but did you have a, a newfound appetite for for coming back those first few mornings when we were coming in and and, and starting to, to throw the ball around again? Yeah, because if it, uh, since I was well since forever, but since sixteen, I've been in the professional environment non-stop for fourteen years. So I've only ever known pre-season, season, pre a couple of weeks off, pre-season, season. So I've always only ever been in a so to be at home and not have actually. A purpose or anything to actually do. It was um, it was a refreshing. It was it was it was nice at first, but then it got a bit. Hang on a minute, right? I want to go back to work now. It's it's, it's getting a bit on. But no, I think you could see the boys were chomping at a bit to get back in, and we certainly showed that. I thought the cup run to go on that cup run, and um, that was very special and one that I'll never forget. And you you kept yourself in good shape. I remember seeing doing videos with you and. Uh, Brad Dwyer out, out running, doing some hills and things like that. So, you, you, did you feel you were in good shape coming back in? Yeah, I felt pretty good. I, like I say, I'm, um, I'm never the biggest. I'm, I was, I'm, I've, I've established that very early on in my career. I was never going to be the biggest, but I like to run and I like to keep myself uh, in decent shape. So, um, no, I, I thought 
maybe it's not like some of the big guys that had to keep the weight on or keep the weight off. It's, I was kind of, I never really fluctuated too much anyway, so I was um, was quite happy to do some running. I thought our S and C really did well. I thought they they gave us a lot of information when, if we wanted it at home and what we wanted to get achieving and so on. No, I bought a, I bought a Garmin watch and started running, so no, I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed it and I actually got into it. Because for, for however many years, all I've ever been told is, right, get on that cone, run this line, do that, do this, and that was your fitness. So to actually be able to get on a bike and go on a bike ride and actually do something that I wanted to do for a change was actually quite refreshing. And you'd moved to fullback. Uh, Jack Walker's injury gave you a shot at fullback just before lockdown, and that was gonna, we knew Jack was going to be a lengthy injury. Was that a good thing for you in terms of you knew what your role was going to be when you when you came back? Yeah, I think so. It gave me a good focus. I knew that I'd enjoyed I'd enjoyed playing fullback in that short period before lockdown, and I thought, oh, this is I'm actually enjoying this this role, and would like like to see where that materialises too. So no, when obviously I came back in, I was ready to keep to con- continue with that, and um, obviously. Like I say, with that cut run and being able to get to Wembley and stuff, it was um, no, it was pretty special. And you formed quite a good partnership with with Luke Gale as well. Obviously, when Luke was coming into the club, it, he took the number seven shirt. But actually, the pair of you have, have developed a partnership that, that's really benefiting the side. Yeah, well, yeah, like I say, I've I've always been a massive admirer of Gale. When, whenever whenever I played against him, I always thought he was a very very talented player. And he's he's diff, he's got different attributes than what I have. Is is He's a very controlling seven, and he's very, um, he's a, he's elite. You can see how he leads this team brilliantly. So, them that him having him come in took the pressure off me to a certain extent, and just let me do my own thing. And whether that was going to be at fullback or at standoff or wherever, wherever I was going to play, having him in as a figurehead of it, it just meant let me do my thing. So I think that's probably why it, it was beneficial for us both, really. So I'm um, no, I'm, I'm proud of the way that that, that played its way itself out. And having had a bit of time to reflect on it, how how do you th- remember everything that happened at Wembley and, and and winning the Challenge Cup and the last Todd Trophy? Yeah, it was a bit of a whirlwind to be fair. I think I think and I think the last couple of weeks after that, I've still struggled to not not struggle, but to get yourself from work, that mental space that we were at. I think because of the way the year had been, obviously from pre season and well from the year before, really that this is quite the harsh reality of rugby league that it might not actually work out for you here and then. To then make it work and then to win at Wembley, win the Challenge Cup and to get Lance Todd, it was kind of it was like what dreams are yeah, dreams are made of really. And I think to to tick all those boxes, it was quite hard to get back up to that kind of emotional high. And I think that's probably why back end of the year we've as a team or as as myself have probably not hit the straps that I did just before Wembley. But um, the rich rich said to me the other day, no matter what happens, you you you'll always go down as this was a Lance Todd winner. So. Yeah, I can't. Like, I'm pretty proud of that moment, and no, it's been a pretty successful year. And having uh, been in the position you're in at the start of the year, and got uh, yourself a new contract and sorted out your future, and and one silverware now, has, has it made the the last few years have been pretty tough times for you to to give you a real kick now to to build on that? In I, look, I, I know it's, it has been it has been a tough like the last three years, but I think the, the first year I came here, I, I really enjoyed it. I know we were in a bit of a dogfight and. Think, but the the season we had, I actually, I actually, I enjoyed it. I, I thrived on the the intenseness of it and and the um, stuff. Obviously, so I've actually enjoyed my whole time. The last three years, I've really enjoyed it, and that was kind of one of the biggest factors of of me staying. I, I absolutely loved it here. That I enjoyed the the test of playing for such a big club, and I think that's what the the beauty that that brought. And um, but it does make life an awful lot easier when you're successful and when you and when you win something and you get a reward for hard work because I know how hard this group's worked even in the years when we weren't playing well. I think you can still every day they've come in and work and absolutely work their absolute socks off. But then to not have it deliver onto the field and that's the disappointing part and I think that's where we always knew we were a good team and we wanted to work hard enough to get there but we just we couldn't quite get it and it takes maybe a couple of additions to a squad to make it or maybe a change in change of personnel and I think now we've we twigged a little bit and we've we've started to get on the right track now and it's it's looking promising and you can see you can see from the culture we're building and everything that's around the club. It's a nice place to be, it's a great place to come and work and when you get the, the two things right with the right team and the right blend of experience and young players coming in, then you, it's a success, a successful place and hopefully we can do that.